Hey, I was starting writer here and I just beat Metro Exodus. So let's talk about it. Metro Exodus is the third in a trilogy of Metro games. With a six year gap between this and the last installment, a lot of changes were made. In Metro Exodus, I've really got to stretch my legs outside a lot more. No longer was I confined to the underground Metro in Moscow. It was a relief I didn't have to worry about special military ammo for currency or a nice kick in my gun. Introduced in Exodus, we have a scavenging and crafting mechanic. I had to scour every nook and cranny for scraps and chemicals needed to craft filters or first aids and to keep my guns in tip-top shape. The outside world is a very dirty place. While exploring, my gun would get dirty from mud, sand, or animal guts. A dirty gun is not a very accurate gun and more prone to overheating making a gunfight very stressful. When it came to crafting, our team is given a backpack that you can use to craft basics like filters or first aids. But if a gun needs cleaned or upgraded, I would have to find a crafting table, which could be kind of a pain here and there. A couple crafting tables can be found in safe houses throughout a zone, or I could always use the one that is always at home base. While exploring, RTM can carry only three guns. Two I could pick and choose, and the third always being his fancy pneumatic gun that had to be pumped up to shoot small metal balls silently. It's not a really strong gun, but it is a really sneaky gun. It's usually best to select two guns that don't use the same ammo so you can carry a lot more shots with you at one time. You're gonna want them. New guns would be obtained by taking them from bandits or other nefarious people out to kill me. While looting bandits, I could take their guns apart for extra pieces like bigger magazines or longer barrels for my guns. If I already had that part, it would automatically be converted to scraps for use elsewhere. But bandits weren't the only thing I needed to worry about in the open world. There's still plenty of mutated critters everywhere, all of them hostile. Mutated enemies were unique to each zone, with most of them running around in sort of packs that could be tough to really take down. One thing I learned was that if there were fewer creatures in the pack, they would usually hit a lot harder than a lot of small ones. If it's a big monster all by itself, it can probably take you out in one hit, so watch out for that. RTM still has a special watch that lights up when he is seen, making it easier to sneak around enemies if need be, and a couple upgrades can be found to add more to his wrist to make life even nicer, if I was lucky enough to find them. Like the older games, there is a minor choice system throughout the game that would change some aspects for good or bad depending on how the game is played, like killing people that don't need killed or such. The new environments added in the game were very pretty when compared to the dank underground I'd grown accustomed to from the first two games. Swamplands, deserts, and everything in between. Not everyone I met was hostile towards me, some needed help with side missions or they were just there to build the story. The game would go through zone by zone. Once through, I couldn't go back to the previous zone, so if there's anything I may have missed, I wasn't going to get to do it. So make sure you are good and ready when finishing up the main mission in each zone. There's a bit hiding out there between side missions and loot. But the whole game wasn't all about adventuring alone in a post-apocalyptic landscape. There were points where Archeum could just sit and enjoy a cup of coffee or vodka, have a smoke and hang out with his friends, chatting or singing songs. It was kind of nice to forget about the terrible things out there for a moment and just hang out with the gang. Metro Exodus by itself is a good game. Compared to its predecessors, it's an even better game. With the newer graphics and gameplay, it felt very smooth and fun. I had a hard time deciding on where to put this game after playing it and ultimately ended with the mid-shelf. Well, now I'm done with that. I guess it's time to move on to the next one. I will see you there. Bye!